The new Peter Pan film is shit. No way! No way! Now this is not a surprise to anybody who has seen the trailer, because what we have here is the original movie, except it has been hollowed out and rewritten to fit a modern perspective and characters have been altered because they are too problematic for the modern audience. Now, this is nothing more than bullshit Disney spouts off to justify their bastardization of the original work, and to turn this into yet another soulless cash grab because they could not give a fuck about giving us a good movie. Peter Pan's Sexual is a really boring and flat movie, with dull and uninteresting characters who give forgettable performances. It's also filled with shit music, bad choreography, and the CGI is just fucking terrible. Disney keeps making realistic live-action movies of their prior work, and because of that, they have lost a lot of the quality that the original animation brought in, because somehow a movie made 70 years ago has more charm and personality than this piece of shit. And what's annoying is the standard practice of hiring a cheap and diverse cast to use as a way to deflect any legitimate criticism as racist, which is a completely normal practice in Hollywood now. They probably knew that this movie was a fucking mess as they were filming it, which is why it was released on streaming only and not in the theatres, as this rotten turd would have sank. They have made quite a few changes to the original movie, either reducing, altering, or outright cutting out scenes and characters that they found offensive, because shockingly, a story written over a hundred years ago may have different attitudes and values that we have today. Some of the changes are fine, like cutting out the American Indian scenes that don't really add anything to the story, but some of the changes they chose to make are god fucking awful. Firstly, we have Peter Pan, who is a little shit in this movie. He doesn't look like the original character, but is instead played by a very feminine Sri Lankan boy. You're looking a little worse for wear, old man. Are you sure you wouldn't be happier? Back in your sick bed. That was so gay. He is much younger and shorter than both Wendy and Tiger Lily. This was done intentionally to undermine his authority as leader of the Lost Boys and male role model of the group. We see throughout the movie that it is not Peter, but Tiger Lily that is the de facto leader of the Lost Boys, until the last act where it switches to Wendy who takes control. Not only that, they have ruined his character because in this movie, he is an absolute piece of shit and they have made him the actual villain of the story, rather than Hook, which I will get into later. He is also more emotional, passive and weak as a character, and quite frankly, I was hoping that Hook would cut his fucking head off in the end. You fucking suck! Next, we have Black Tinkerbell, who has almost no presence or personality, unlike the original, and acts less of a character and more of a plot device. They decided to get rid of her jealous nature, as in the original movie, she hates Wendy so much that she betrays the group to Captain Hook at the end of the film. So why change this? Well, because they wanted all of the girls to get along and have zero flaws. The problem is that when they removed that aspect of her character, they replaced it with absolutely nothing and left her about as empty as Kamala Harris's fucking head. The significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. What the fuck are you talking about, huh? Also, I noticed that Black Tinkerbell does not glow in this movie like she did in the original. My guess is that if they tried to make her skin glow at all, they were afraid that dickhead journalists were going to accuse them of whitewashing the actress. So instead of having the headache, they must have just said fuck it and just make her look as plain as possible. Next up is Wendy, who is no longer a proper upper-class English lady, but a sword-fighting feminist, who looks down on Peter for most of the movie. Next up is Tiger Lily, who is the leader of the Lost Boys for most of the film, and weirdly, she keeps speaking a language that nobody else understands. She knows that none of these people speak that language, but does it anyway because she has to remind everybody that she is a native. Then there's Captain Hook, who is played by Jude Law, and is the only actor to show some charisma throughout the movie, even though he is stuck with a shit script. His origins have been completely changed, as he is no longer an evil pirate, but instead a sympathetic villain, just like every other movie to have come out from Disney for the last seven years. This trope needs to die, because it's very played out and boring as fuck. And lastly, we have the extremely diverse Lost Boys that look like they were intentionally picked out for a modern-day advert. 
Not only that, but two of them are girls as well. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Now I'm going to jump right into the shithole that is the plot. It starts off with Wendy's brother's sword fighting until Wendy decides to jump in and duel her brother. She must be trying to hurt her brother because she flings the sword right out of his hands with enough force to smash a mirror. What this scene is supposed to be setting up is how good she is with a sword, but what it's actually setting up is that she has no emotional control at all. Wow, a woman with no emotional control, I've never heard of that before. Their dad demands to know who is responsible, but her brother John, who looks like Harry Potter, accidentally revealed that it was Wendy who broke the mirror. Wendy, who is angered by this, decides to throw him under the bus to protect herself. What a bitch! She's the oldest out of them and acts the most childish. Wendy sulks to her mother about how she is afraid of growing up and says, If a young lady is lucky at a certain age, she goes off to school. It's what I did. What if I don't want your life? What an asshole. Later on that night, Black Tinkerbell shows up to rob the place, but is captured by Harry Potter before Peter Pan shows up to rescue her. Are you Peter Pan? No, he's the all new, all different, modern version of him, so he's not Peter Pan at all. Peter Pan goes on to take all of the kids to Neverland, where they are then spotted by Captain Hook and his pirates, who try to murder the group. He hits them with a cannon shot, and somehow nobody is hurt by it, even though the shrapnel from the rocks would rip everybody into shreds. But the filmmakers didn't give a fuck, so why should we? They all end up getting separated until Wendy meets up with Tiger Lily and the lost people. Lost boys. But you're not all boys. So? Uh... But I guess it doesn't really matter. Wrong! That's wrong! You see what she is doing there? She is telling the audience to get over it, even though the casting choice makes no fucking sense. You stupid fucking cunt. They learn that Hook has taken her brothers and are off to rescue them. And it's here where we get the new backstory as to how Hook lost his hand. Well, it turns out that Peter Pan cut off Captain Hook's hand like the little fucking psychopath he is, and then fed it to an alligator. What? Peter Pan is supposed to be the boy who never grows up. Now my question is, where the fuck did Peter grow up? It must have been in the Congo as a child soldier, because normal kids don't fucking maim people and feed their body parts to animals. That's the first indicator of a serial killer, you freak. Speaking of the little bastard, Peter Pan shows up and attacks Hook, but ends up getting saved by Wendy, who tricks him into walking on top of an alligator, who attacks him and the crew. Afterwards, Wendy bitch slaps Peter and lectures him on being dangerous because they have to demean him as a character. I ain't never hit a woman in my life, but your ass is pushing it! They then arrive at the hideout, where we get some more backstory about Captain Hook. Well, we learn that he was the very first lost person and was Peter Pan's best friend. Peter tells us that Hook one day sailed off before eventually returning to Neverland all grown up and pissed off, which is why Peter doesn't like growing up. Except that's not the whole story, as we will eventually learn that Peter Pan has omitted a few parts of the truth which make him look bad because he is a lying fucking psychopath. Wendy goes on to sing a lullaby to the group, which Captain Hooks uses to find their hideout. That's fucking stupid. This is very stupid, because if Hook grew up in this hideout, then he must have always known where this treehouse was. And the fact that he is only checking it out now is beyond dumb. Are you a complete retard? Anyway, he confronts Peter on the top floor before slashing him, who falls several stories down and lands through a solid wooden floor. Somehow this does not kill him, as his shadow runs off to get Tiger Lily for help, who uses a bunch of plant herbs to somehow fix Peter's smashed bones and ruptured organs. They then head off to rescue the group. Who gives a shit? Hook takes all of the lost people back to the ship and tells Wendy the whole story about how when he was young he wanted to go looking for his mother because he was feeling very sad and alone and because of this Peter Pan banished him from Neverland. Why are you so evil? Peter is a serious piece of shit in this story. Well, Hook never finds his family, but is instead rescued by pirates. He then orders all of them to be executed, and as Wendy walks the plank, Black Tinkerbell escapes her cage and lets her fly. Gabby thought 
Notice how her happy thoughts are to graduate from a woman's only college, fly a plane across the Atlantic like Amelia Earhart did, become a famous writer, have no children and then die alone. Why is dying alone a happy thought? Usually it's the opposite. She has the same ideals as a woman from the 21st century. You have the boy's magic. No, this magic belongs to no boy. <laughs> Feminism is truly the cancer of the arse. So Black Tinkerbell levitates the ship until Peter Pan arrives. Hook asks him how he could have possibly survived that massive fall. How did you survive? No pixie dust this time. No magic. No tricks. Just a little help from my friends. You're a liar! You're a liar! This is yet another lie out of that fucking cunt's mouth, because we all know that it was magical bullshit herbs that fixed his body. Anyway, a big boring fight breaks out, and all of the adults somehow lose to a bunch of children. Ah. Peter eventually apologises to Hook for treating him like a piece of shit, but ends up getting saved by Wendy for the second time. Hook falls and Peter catches him. Just think happy thoughts. I haven't got any. Fuck me is Hook's life depressing. They have changed the original story so much that now Peter is clearly the villain as he has destroyed this guy's life and turned him into an asshole. Hook falls into the ocean and Wendy doesn't even try to grab him. Peter now acts all sad even though he is the real villain of the story. Wendy and Peter take all of the lost people back to her home and tells her parents that she has found a bunch of kids. What exactly does she expect her parents to do? Suddenly take in a bunch of random kids that they can't even pretend that they are related to? What's most likely going to happen is that either they will be put to work as child labourers in a coal mine, or they would send those little shits on the first boat ride to Australia, which personally I would pick. At the end of the movie, Peter Pan fucks off back to Neverland, where we see him rescue Hook and his right hand man, as they seem to be the only two survivors, because I guess the rest of the pirates drowned and died horribly. You know those pirates who rescued Hook from certain death, his only family who are now all cold at the bottom of the sea, and this is supposed to be played off as a happy ending. Jesus Christ, what a fucking nightmare. And that's the end of the bastardization of Peter Pan. They did Peter Pan dirty in this movie, which isn't even the worst part. The worst thing about this film is that it's boring as fuck and none of these characters are enjoyable to watch. It sucks ass and the story was changed to accommodate modern day shitty politics into it. Don't watch it because it's a complete waste of time and instantly forgettable, as by tomorrow, nobody is going to remember that this turd exists. Well that was fucking dreadful.